Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-animation.com Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about conditional statement in JavaScript. Okay, so till now we have seen how to work with data types, we have seen how to work with arrays, objects, how to write loops. But now the main part is conditions. Okay, as the name says conditional statement, now we will be executing some statements based on certain conditions. Okay. So let's say I have to perform some operations based on certain condition. Let's say if my name equal to this, then do this. If my name is not equal to this, then do this. Okay. It can be any condition depends on your requirement. So how to achieve that in JavaScript, we will see. Okay. So when we talk about conditional statement, basically we have if, if else, if else, if, and the switch case. And it is one of the easiest topic and the most important topic in any programming language not only in javascript you take any language of your choice and this will remain same definitely some syntax will be changed but the main concept will remain same okay so let me show you how to write this conditional statement and it will help you a lot when you go with test automation or even if you're developing some apps because based on certain events or conditions you will decide which code to execute first okay so let's get started. I will create a new separate JavaScript file for this and I will say this is conditional. Okay. Uh, dot .js Guys, I will be taking very basic examples because the complexity of the code doesn't matter here. The most important part is the concept. If you understand this, how this if else works, then you can apply with any condition. So let me write if and you can see we have something called if statement and you can see if is nothing but a block of code, right? So if is a keyword, then in, in the pair of parentheses, we need to write the condition. Okay. And this is the block of code. So this block of code will only get executed if this condition is true. Okay. I will write again if everything from the scratch. It is just, I want to show you. And if you see again, we have if else, this is basically when, if it's not working, then it will come to the else block. Okay. So basically you can have only if you can also have if else. And we can combine if else if as well which i will show you so let me just write one thing uh let me write if and let me write one condition and let me write this condition is true forcefully okay later on we will write some condition as of now forcefully i'm passing true inside this if and i will write something called log i will say i am inside if block okay so it will only execute if the condition is true and right now we are forcefully passing true here so it will print i am inside if block so let me just write node and write the file name which is conditional.js and you can see it is writing i am inside if block let me make it false and this time the moment i run you can see it's not printing anything because if the condition is false it is not even entering inside this if block fine so instead of passing true false what if i have sub some conditions here that condition is if 10 is less than 20 then execute this so in our case 10 is less than 20 yes so you can see it says i am inside if block but if i reverse the condition like if 10 is greater than 10 20 which is obviously false so again you will see it will not print anything so if is a very simple one, if the condition is true, it will simply go inside this if block. Otherwise it will continue with the next set of statement. Now we also have something called else. Okay. This is optional, but it's good to have if with else, because if this is not done, then that case, what should be your next move or what should be the next step? So here I'm writing if this condition is true do this otherwise do this so here i will just write i am inside else block fine so if i just say if less than like 10 is less than 20 yes so it will say i am inside if block but if i reverse the condition this time it will say false so it will come to else block and it will say i am inside else block yeah, very easy one. So let me clear it out. So this will help you a lot when you go with, uh, you know, any kind of assertions based on certain conditions, you will assert 
and you will mark your test case pass or fail. Let me show you if else if okay and uh, for this let me remove this or maybe I can write one more if else if here. So I'm taking one variable okay and I will say this is my browser name browser name and let me take this browser name as chrome as of now now i will write a condition okay and in this i will check three conditions chrome firefox and edge so based on the browser it name it will invoke the respective browser so again i will write if and i will check if browser name now i will be using something called includes okay so guys we have already discussed string in detail so in case if you're new to this uh, strings because I'm going to use one method called includes. So if you're new to this, please watch that string video because in that video we discussed different methods and the usage as well. So I'm just checking here if this browser name includes Chrome, if yes, then I'm just going to say uh, Chrome started. I will just do log as of now, but once we move ahead, we will be writing some you know standard code or the code to start the browser. As of now, I will just write Chrome started. If browser is not equal to this then i will write one more condition that if browser name okay is it or does it include firefox so i will just check uh, quickly check firefox if yes then i will simply print firefox started Okay, now let me write one more condition. So guys, whenever you have multiple conditions, you can go with if else if and you can have n number of conditions. There's no restriction as such. So again, I will write the same thing. If browser name includes edge, if yes, then again, I will say um, edge started and at last I will keep one else. This is optional, but good to have that if any of this condition is not getting matched, I will just write here it's called uh, this tool only supports uh, Firefox, Chrome and Edge browser. Fine. And if you want to write multiple, anyways, we have written conditions here, right? If this is not done, then check this. If this is not done, check this. And finally, if nothing is matching, go with this. Now let me run this node and maybe I will just keep it node conditional.js and you can see since I'm written, writing here Chrome so Chrome includes Chrome yes so it is running this statement which is Chrome started okay let me change this to Firefox and you will see it will execute this statement so basically it started here Firefox includes Chrome no it came to else again Firefox includes Firefox yes and it said Firefox is started now let me write one more negative scenario let me write one browser called brave which is the new browser so definitely it will not match with any of this condition so it should come to else and you can see this time it is printing this tool only supports Firefox Chrome and Edge browser it started from here brave includes Chrome no brave includes firefox no brave includes edge no and finally it executed this okay so you will be using this a lot in the upcoming lectures or i will say the script that we will be writing now let me also talk about switch okay so this switch is also very easy okay it is just you need to rem remember the syntax the moment you type switch you can say we have something called switch statement the moment you select this you will get all this option so switch is a keyword okay and you can see this is a block of code that will get executed okay and now we have something called case right now it is just have one case but we can have a number of cases here so in switch case basically you need to pass some value here and these values will be evaluated based on the certain cases for example if i'm passing some number here okay then this number will be evaluated with these cases which you will provide so let me write this code okay then it will be more clear so let's say i'm writing here zero just to start and i'm writing here zero if this is equal to this then it will execute this piece of code so i will write here uh, let's say sunday 
Now you can see this break. So break keyword we already discussed in the last video, right? So what exactly break will do that if this case is getting evaluated as true, then it will come out of this switch. If you don't keep break, then it will start evaluating other cases as well, which we don't want. So it's not mandatory, but it's good to have break because otherwise it will keep on evaluating your further cases. Okay. So let me write one more case here. Okay. So that you will have clear understanding about switch. So this is another case. Okay. Let me write here. Let me make it one in a similar way. Let me make it one more case. Okay this number will be two so if this is one i will say this is monday and if it is two i will say it's tuesday if any other number then it should come to default and it should do some action as of now i will say console.log again and i will say sorry that's all so let's say if you pass zero this will get evaluated okay if this condition is true then it will print sunday it will break it will come out of the switch if it is one, this will not get executed. It will execute this one and it will come out. If you pass some number, let's say five, it will evaluate this, this, this. If nothing is matching, it will come to default and it will say sorry. Even if you remove default, it will work. You can see it's not throwing any error at all, but it's good to have default that if in case nothing is getting matched, it should give you this message. Okay, so let me run this. So as of now, since I'm passing zero, it is matching with this case. It is printing Sunday. Let me make it two, which is basically this case. It should give me Tuesday. Yes. And let me make it now 10. Okay. Definitely 10 is not in our case. So in that case, it should print sorry. And you can see it's printing sorry. So you can have n number of cases. There's no restriction. So let me write three more conditions and instead of passing this i can use something called date okay so the moment i type here okay let me first of all write these cases quickly okay guys so i have quickly written the same all the cases so it starts from zero till six okay so one two three four five six and six basically is for saturday now it depends on which case you are passing so let me pass six this time and let me quickly see if it is working or not so yes it's working for Saturday as well. Now I want to show you something. Okay. So if I just type, uh, first of all, let me just create one variable called date and let me create object of date. Okay. So if you just want to print, what is the current date? Um, so if I just print this date, just notice here, I'm just creating object of date and I'm printing the today's date. Okay. Let's run this. And you can see it is printing that 25th of August 2021, right? And it's 613. So that is the current date. Now, instead of passing 0, 1, 2, 3, sorry, instead of passing 6 manually here, I can do one thing that I can take the uh, which date is, okay, based on this date. And based on that, it will evaluate. So if I just want the day, I can just say dot get day so what exactly it will return so if you put mouse over it says it will get the day of the week okay so if i just run this so this time it is printing three okay it starts with zero since it's a badness day so one two three and it should give me call badness day okay so if i run this this time uh so instead of passing hard coded value, let me pass. Okay, let me change this day because right now we are just getting the day. I will print day here and I will pass day here. So from current date, it is just capturing the day. In our case, it's giving us three. And for three, we have uh, added as wetness day. Okay, so the moment I run this. You can see it's printing by this day, right? So you can have n number of cases here, guys. And default is not mandatory, but it's good to have. Plus break is also not mandatory, but it's good to have. So follow this so in case some of the cases are getting matched. In our case, if it is matching with wetness, date is not going to execute remaining four, five, six. 
So I hope it's clear now. So we actually started with if you can have just if condition, you can have if else conditions, you can also have if else if conditions. Okay, and you can have switch case as well. We, we started switch case with hard coded values, then we have captured actually today's date and we captured which day gets the day of the week. And based on that, this switch case evaluated. And if you want to have, you know, uh, end condition or conditions you can have. Suppose I want to check because right now we are just checking with Firefox. What if somebody is giving FF, right? So in that case, I will add one more condition. This is basically pipe, right? Or operator. And I will check if somebody is passing FF also, it should say FF started. So in our case, if I just pass this FF, so definitely this is getting false, but this is getting true since we are using or. So any one of the condition has to be true. So if I run this code again, okay, I just have to remove this space by mistake. I go in space and you can see if FF started, right? So that's all for today. I hope it is clear. Now, if you have any other question after this example, please let me know in the comment section. And in case if you're new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, share with your colleagues, friends, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.